All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to burn a CD with a fan album, and specifically, I'll be using the one that I just posted a few days ago. And so, what you're gonna to wanna to do is download it, obviously, and you wanna get the FLAC version because this is the lossless audio quality, so that means it's the highest quality available. If you use MP3s, it'll be compressed and not as good. You don't really wanna use MP3s relating to anything with CDs, whether it's burning or ripping. So once you have the zip file, you just double click and open it and drag it out. Um, you need to use WinRAR or another uh, program. This is free and it's uh, pretty common. Everybody usually has it. So then you can delete that. This is your album. It'll come with all the art and stuff if you want to print that out. Um, I'll quickly just go over that. I'll have a separate part where I actually print it out and have um, footage of me um, like using my printer and showing you guys what paper I used. But it's set up so that you can print this double-sided. You could use regular paper. You could do this in black and white if you don't have color ink and it would be all right. But I recommend using some sort of special paper like that's glossy and then um, you want to also check your printing properties and put it on the highest quality. Um, there's multiple versions like uh, of qualities and properties like uh, draft or you know whatever. So make sure that's the best and then print it out and let it dry for at least a day unless you know it's dry because it can smear when there's so much colors and stuff especially using glossy paper. You're really going to be careful or else um, it'll smear and you'll have to reprint it. So that's that. Um, then here are your songs, and then this is just about each individual song, what um, was edited to make it fit into this album. Um, just a lot of audio stuff and that you wouldn't, you might not understand. Um, but anyways, you're going to want to download a program to burn to a CD. You could pretty much use any program, and I think maybe in Windows 10 it's built in, but um, I use this just because it's easier. It's called AnyBurn. This is the website. I'll have it in the description. You download the 64-bit. And you don't need to stress too much about um, using a super good quality, ver like one that will keep the quality because every time you burn a CD, whatever quality you put in is what you're going to get out. So it's different for ripping, which obviously you want to find a good program that keeps it exactly the same as a CD um, when you take it on your computer. But with burning, it doesn't matter as much because it's always going to be the same. So any trusted program works, but I use this. So you're going to want to open it, hit this. Um, burn audio CD you then you want to click the first one hold shift click the last one and then whoops dragging from the first one you want to put it in I'll show you why because if I drag dragged from the middle um, it would bring it all out of order so you just can control a and delete if you mess up but drag it from the first song and then you'll have it all in order you can double check if you want um, and this will show the um, capacity left on the CD so right now it's 65 minutes out of 75 um, I don't have a CD in it, so um, you might have a CD that has more space or whatever. I use CDRs and CDRWs are a little bit different, but both work. I recommend CDRs unless you don't have any. Um, and so you want to have your disk drive highlighted in here, and you can uh, refresh, I assume, once you put your CD in. And then you want to go to Properties. Um, well, you can select all the songs. Go to Properties, and then Album. By the way, to select it's Control A if you don't know that. And then you can edit this stuff so that, um, that you just have it. If your car, sometimes cars show the, the information of the CD. You can even put the barcode in. If you go here, whoops. This is a, a fake barcode um, from Google, so it won't actually show anything up if you try to scan it. But it is just a thing you could do if, if you want, put in the UTC. Then you're going to want to hit next and then you have the speed when you have a cd it'll show like 8 16 24. you want to put it at 8 or 16. i usually just do 16 um, because if you do it super fast some cd players might not be able to play super fast burn cds like um, really old boom boxes or whatever but in for most cases you don't need to worry about that you could do maximum if you know what you're doing and then also if you don't have a really good computer um, and you're just using a bad computer you might not want to use maximum because there's a chance there could be an error while it's trying to burn. Um, so just stick to 16. It always works. Then um, there's some more settings. I like to have it eject after burning so I know when it's done. And then you just want to hit burn now. And then obviously there's an error because there's no CD in mine. But it'll have stuff pop up along the way telling you which songs it's burning. And then it'll complete in about 10 to 20 minutes um, depending on your computer again. And then, yeah, you'll have your CD and you could put that in a CD case and leave it at that, or you could go the extra and print out the, the stuff using the document, which I'll have another video on. But 
that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching and enjoy.